G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Now, how would you like to create your very own custom co-pilot that will save you hours every single month? That is what we are going to create in this episode. We are going to take transcripts from town hall meetings and then let our agent create our internal publications for us and also generate our images for us as well. Uh, and this, especially if you are uh, involved in internal communications, will save you hours every single month. Now, before we get stuck in, just a a quick message from today's video sponsor, and that is uh, from my SharePoint and Copilot Mastery Membership. Now, access to this membership gives you uh, access to two courses, the SharePoint Mastery course and also the Copilot Mastery course. In addition to those courses, you will get a one-on-one -on -one strategy call with me and also access to three additional workshops, um, plus at a reduced cost uh, as well. So head on over to danielanderson.io forward slash course and take advantage of the early access and founders pass that will give you access to two courses, a one-on-one -on -one strategy call, uh, a reduced cost for the membership, and also access to three additional workshops as well. Now, let's get stuck into creating your very own custom Copilot agent. We can see that I am in Copilot, I'm in BizChat. On the right-hand side, I'm gonna click on Create an Agent. Now, we've got a couple of different options here. We can describe what our what we want to create, or we can configure it from scratch. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to type what I would like in here. So, here you can see I want an agent that will take a transcript of our monthly town hall meetings, extract key points, and then create individual publications of those key points. I'm just going to start with that, and now what we're going to do is it's going to create or start the, begin the process of creating our agent for us, okay? So we can see here, agent's now set up to process transcripts. Uh, now let's decide on a name. So how about to, uh, Town Hall Publisher? That will do for this example. Uh, let's say, sounds good, all right? So this sounds good. We're now getting there, all right? So we can see that we've got a few starter prompts that uh, has automatically been generated for us. Um, and I think we're good to go, all right? So what, we'll, what we might do here is let's create this, all right? So we're gonna create this agent just from here, but then we're gonna go back in and we're gonna do some fine tuning, all right? So we're going to, to give it some instructions uh, on how to behave, what the purpose is, what the output's gonna be, and be extremely detailed in what we want this agent to do. So once this is created, it, it's going to allow us, so what we will do, we'll go to uh, go to agent and we can see that we're in our agent here. Now, what we will do is we are going to go to our view all agents and I am going to edit our town hall publisher. So we can see here that I've got the name, which I can change. I've got a description that we had, okay? Uh, and then also the important part here is our instructions. So this is, this is where we're going to define our purpose and lots of different things here. So this example actually comes from a real world use case. So we spent quite a bit of time uh, crafting our, our uh, let's say our system prompts or our instructions for this agent. So I'm going to copy what we came up with. I'm going to delete these and I'm going to now paste in all of my instruction text. Now you can see that I'm using uh, Markdown in, in, my, um, in my formatting here as well. So I'm, I'm defining some headers. So I've got some different sections here. So I've got the role and the purpose. Now I'm just gonna change this a little bit here. I'm going to say, you are a specialized copywriter and internal communicator. Agent focused on transforming, meaning trans transcripts into three distinct communications based on the key extracted points. We then go into our core capabilities. So we can see here, core capabilities, key point extraction, we've got communication generation uh, as a section here, and we've got what, we're, what we want this agent to do. And then we've got a section here for QA integration. So including any questions and answers that do come out of our transcript, we want to align those with those key points and those key, um, those, those 
publications that are created. We then go down through our operating guidelines. So point selection criteria, we give our agent some instructions on what the criteria for extracting our key points are. And we can see here that these were determined as the one, two, three, four, five items in the key, um, key areas to extract our key points from. Then we move into our communication structure. So each of the three communications must include the following things, an opening section, supporting content, and a QA section when it's creating and generating the content. We then also close out with our closing elements. And then next section, our quality standards, we define what our quality standards are under this heading. We then go through and have a look at our output requirements here as well. So for each transcript, deliver three separate communications, key point, first key point communication, second key point communication, third key point communication. We then also pass in and instruct our agent around prohibited content, all right? We then go through our process flow, how we want our co-pilot to process uh, the, the transcript itself. We analyze, we identify the three points, we extract the relevant Q&A for, uh, for each point, we create the, th the three separate communications, we review for consistency and accuracy, and then we, pr uh, we, we prepare our final deliverables. We then just pass in our final remark. Always maintain clarity and engagement while ensuring each communication is complete and self-contained with its relevant QA content. So that is our instructions. Now I'm going to scroll down here. I'm going to also enable the image generator, all right? So that's going to allow us to create an image as well, all right, based on the content that we get back from this agent. I'm going to just leave at the moment, leave all of these starter prompts there, but you can see these, these are these tiles here, all right? So I'm going to now update this agent with those new instructions, all right? Now, to give this a test, we are going to grab a transcript or an example transcript from a town hall meeting, and we're going to pass that in to our agent. So I'm gonna to go, to go to agent, now you can see that it appears on the right hand side here. I can go directly to the town hall publisher, or if I'm in Copilot, I can actually at mention this town hall planner. So we can see town hall, sorry, town hall publisher. So here I'm chatting with the town hall publisher, or I can jump directly into the town hall publisher uh, agent itself from this uh, right hand panel. Now, can you please uh, process this town hall transcript? Now I'm just going to post, paste in the transcript of, actually that's not the transcript. Let me grab the transcript. Can you please process uh, the latest town hall meeting please? And I will now paste in our transcript. I'll copy and I'm going to paste. Um, and that is the transcript all done in there. And I'm going to hit send. So just with that, what we're going to come back with, here are our three key points. Here is communication number one around the financial performance and key client wins. If I keep scrolling down a little bit, and that's just, just finished. So if I scroll up, there's our communication number two, digital transformation progress. We've got our headline, we've got our context, we've got the main message, supporting content, and any question that, or questions that came out of or that aligned to that particular key point. We've also got communication number three, we've got QA section. You can see I've got two questions and answers or two questions that related to the strategic planning for 2025 here. Now, if I keep scrolling down, I've got my closing remarks. Now, how about we create an image? Let's go, can you now create a fun image that aligns to the uh, summarized transcript. And now, because 
We've got some image generation as well. We've got um, Microsoft Designer in play here, and it's going to create some also some graphic, some images for us to allow us to then use those in our publication as well. So the idea here is if we were using Viva Amplify, we could take this and then create our publications in Viva Amplify because we've got three we could then take one, two, three, and schedule those out via Viva Amplify, determine the channels, and then we are good to go. So all of a sudden, we've taken a long drawn out process, and now we've created this agent that is going to save any person that is using, uh, needs to, to uh, process not just town hall transcripts, but really any transcript into this type of format. We've passed in and explained exactly what we want our agent to do through our instructions. And now we've got this little agent that we can call on any time that we need to do that particular process. So I hope that brings you some value today. Once again, this video is brought to you by the SharePoint and Copilot Mastery Membership. Access to two courses, SharePoint Mastery, Copilot Mastery, and right now with early access and the Founders Pass, you'll get a one-on-one -on -one strategy call with me and also access to three additional workshops plus a reduced rate on the actual membership itself. Thanks for watching. See you in the next episode.